All right, folks, welcome back. Today, we're taking a look at something new, brand new. This is the Hobsco Alpha electric bike. All right, I just got this. I just put it together uh, like this past week. I've ridden it like 60, 70 miles so far, and I really like it. It's actually really sick. This is an off-road electric bike. It's got these 26 inch by four inch fat tires. You can ride through grass, mud, sand, etc. All right, you have a seven speed gear shifter from Shimano. Right about there. Color LCD screen. You got this rear rack, which I'm about to put this rod holder on. All right, we're gonna zip tie that on there. And uh, we're about to take it for a spin, but. All right, that was easy. All right, I don't think we're bringing a fishing rod with us today. All right, I lied. We're actually gonna bring the ultralight. Why not? All right, but let's go for a ride here. All right, we're dead stopped here, folks. We got a little bit of a headwind blowing. Five mile an hour, nine mile an hour, 14 miles an hour. We're cruising. We have a couple hours here, folks, so let's see what we can do with this bike. We're about to cross Interstate 95. We're gonna let this lady go. All right guys, so what we're trying to do here is find some sand to test this beach bike on. So we're pretty much just riding it to the closest beach. And the closest beach is not that close. All right, so part of the reason I brought this rod is because I wanted to try to cast into this little creek here. I don't think we're gonna cast off this bridge. We're gonna go a little further. All right, and now the concrete turns to dirt as we go down this trail. I've ridden down this trail a couple times already. I actually really like it. This bike does fine. But this is what I was worried about, bringing the ultralight with obstacles such as this. Let's see what happens here. Good enough. Ooh. There was like a little spot that looked kind of good that I wanted to cast into to see if there's any fish in this creek. But yeah, this little eddy here kind of drew my interest. So we're gonna take a couple casts with no expectations. I really don't think we're gonna catch any fish. Maybe like a fall fish. All right, we took a few casts here into this nice looking eddy. We got no bites. I don't think there's a whole lot of fish in this river. 15 miles an hour down this sketchy trail. Whoa. the dicey part. Still got the rod? Barely, holy shit. There we go. Look at that. The jig popped off the eyelet and it reeled itself in. That was like a pretty fast ride through like a lot of uh, bumpy trails. So we're going fast around this berm. <sighs> 20 miles an hour. We're gonna come to a complete stop. Pretty good. Pretty good. 
All right, folks, we've gone 6.1 miles and uh, our battery life is four out of five bars. And I did not fully charge this thing. It was close to fully charged, but it wasn't quite fully charged. They say you can get 80 miles off one charge, which is definitely a stretch. I'm not expecting to get 80 miles. One thing I know about electric bikes, I've seen them driving on the road before, going like 20 miles an hour when I'm trying to pass them on like roads where the speed limit is 25 and it's really annoying. So knowing that, I try to drive slow on this bike when I have cars coming up my backside. That way they can pass me easily and confidently and not do anything stupid because people these days really are not paying attention to a biker going 20 miles an hour to try to avoid causing an accident. Right now I'm going 13 miles an hour. That's a fair speed. But yeah, we're getting close to this beach up here. We're gonna check it out. All right, sand. We have sand. Let's go through this way. This looks more fun. All right guys, so far I've ridden this bike close to 100 miles. I've ridden it on sand and through the woods, and I have to say that I love this bike. I haven't really used it to fish yet, but I plan to use it to get to those hard to get to fishing spots far away from the lineups of Instagram kids and fish brainers. When the local hotspot gets blasted on the community Facebook page, I'll be hopping on this bike and riding to the next town over where it'll just be me and the herons. With its 750 watt brushless gear hub motor, and it's 960 watt, 20 amp hour Samsung LG lithium ion battery. I'll be six miles down the beach while Joe GoPro is live streaming the Blitz and untangling his line with the Guggen next to him. This bike, at times, will allow me to escape these crowds and will hopefully bring peace and quiet back to fishing. All right, we're coming up to another body of water here. I am going to take some casts in. We are crossing though. And it's not looking like whew, as great as I hoped. We have a blue rock. We have a golf club handle. Right, we have very little chance of catching a fish, but I'm going to turn the bike off for the first time so far on this 11.2 mile trip. Got the kickstand down. Huh. Looks like we lost the jig. Well, RIP is somewhere back there. We learned something just now. Uh, that hook's small enough. I doubt it's gonna puncture any tires. Maybe the foot of a child, but no tires. I'm just kidding, folks. Oof, the wind just took the bike. All right. I see that it's actually very shallow along these shorelines here at the old blue rock. This spot doesn't have much going for it, you know, shallow. Probably pretty shallow out there. Let's see. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Yeah, three Mississippi. Awfully shallow. Clear water. All right, so turning the bike off. Uh, did restart our odometer. So we're up to some 11 miles give or take, just turning it on here. 
keeping it on this pause three pas3 was that phase three but pretty much as i pedal the bike kind of pedals back and the lower this number it goes like one through five if i put it on one then there's not much electrical output to help me pedal just a little bit but if i go up to five now all of a sudden the bike is basically pedaling for me and i'm just like barely giving it any effort and the bike kind of just goes so in order to save some battery I'm keeping it down here at like a two it makes it just like real easy to pedal and if i don't want to pedal i can just use this lever and she goes now we're going 12 miles an hour going slow here because there is traffic. I don't want to get hit by a careless driver. It's like a busy road, lots of people turning in and out, pulling in and out. Oh, there's a Wendy's. We're not gonna stop at the Wendy's the liquor store. True, you can make a good living right here on this block. All right, now we're going back through the woods here definitely saw like some sort of human in the woods out here like when I drove by an hour ago hate to say it but likely someone doing drugs we're not making it up this hill Best to not even try. Oh, I can barely walk up this hill. It's very steep. I'm at 10 miles an hour. 10's good. Eh, 13's better. 14. Loco. Hey, 15 miles an hour through the sketchy stuff, through the mud. All right, well, after using this bike a bunch of times, I'll say it again, I'm very happy with it. And I'll certainly be using it to get to some new fishing spots this year. But until then, if you're interested in buying a Hopsco e-bike yourself, you can check the description below for more information as well as a discount code. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.